Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So, today we're going to take a look at another one of these posts over on the Reddit. Um, now, typically I'll take one of these, right? And we'll go ahead and take a nice little gander at it. But we actually got two here. Uh, sort of loosely related around the uh, tournament, or not the tournament power, the uh, future arc, right? The Goku Black Trunks future arc. And even though, like, manga stuff is definitely something that, like, we'll see how in the cards that's going to be for Dokkan. Um, I don't know. I, I do eventually think they probably would lean into some of that manga stuff. Now, as far as, like, the Moro arc goes, I don't necessarily think we're going to see that stuff actually arrive in Dokkan. Uh, probably until Dragon Ball Super would come back and that would be animated, which I do think would be eventually, but who knows when, right? So we got a post by Snap Snarp. Uh, and then we also have a post here by Zeno Grandmaster talking about a lot of things with the future, like, Trunks sort of arc. Now, remember that the future arc also includes basically, like, every Trunks, right? Uh, you have future Android 17 and 18. You got all the Goku Black units. You got the Gokus and the Vegetas and, you know, Mai and stuff like that. Vegito from the future Trunks arc. Merge Zamasu as well. So there is a lot that could be done with sort of this future saga category. Because, like, that's the thing. It doesn't really have, um, like, like we're not going to see, like, the Trunks arc, sp like, split off with, like, you know, this existing, I don't think. So I, that, that's one thing to keep in mind, right? So, all right. So let's go and take a look here um, at some of the things we've got. So... For starters, a Dokkan Fest Zamasu. Now, I, I do think that Merge Zamasu uh, needs an LR. I think he's one of the characters most deserving of an LR currently in Dokkan that does not have it, right? Uh, Multi-dimensional lead. Anyone who can break dimensions. Broly, Gogeta, Super Buu, Janemba. Uh, I mean, that's, that's very restrictive. Like, I see what he's going for, but... How many characters would actually end up in that category, right? Uh, when KO'd by a super attack, transform an infinite Zamasu. Like a rage or great ape effect for three turns. Once three turns have passed, you auto lose. It's a three turn expansion to your lifespan. I get it. Okay. So when you die, you then become that. That's interesting. That's an interesting idea. Infinite Zamasu could take over the background orbs, lower bar, all the... <laughs> okay, okay. I kind of like this idea. I mean, they have to do something with this, like, you know, infinite Zamasu bullshit that happens. Hard to say for sure, but they definitely need to do something. Um. Okay, so we have a, a Rage Trunks and My card. Another Trunks and My. I mean, we already have an LR and we have a TUR. So this will work like the Vegeta and Bulma card. Oh. And this would be a Banner card. I see. So it would be a thing like... Like, Mai gets hit or something like that. And then Trunks counters. Could be interesting. Um, hmm. I, <laughs> categories Vegeta family with the little... Yeah. <laughs> well, Mai's going to be on the Vegeta family real soon, I'm sure. All right, item time machine. For C, enemy super attacks give all allies 50%... Wow. That would be very strong. That's pretty good. Now, currently, we have the scouter items, which allow us to see enemy super attacks, but that's, like, future turns, right? That would be really good. <laughs> that, that that time machine item, that's pretty good. It's pretty strong. Uh, So, okay, this guy, this is a um, an SSR that you can currently grind from the Future Trunks story event. They definitely could add at least one more stage to it, give him an awakening or something like that. Uh, give him a Dokkan Awakening and EZA right away. So let's see what he would be. 150% attack and defense, 9 turns from the start of turn. Future Saga allies, 1 key and 20% attack and defense. And then he'd have a Rage mechanic against Realm of Gods, Future, or Time Traveler category, Enemy, once only. That's interesting. See, I, I like this. Like, giving this slight little support type effect, I think, really gives the unit, like, extra life. Like, like, you know, giving a, a, some sort of buff like this to a lot of new units that come out, I think I think that's a good way to sort of balance it. Like, you know, SCR Janemba, rather than that stupid dodge mechanic they gave him at the end there, like, if he just gave Extreme Class Allies one key and 20% attack and defense, he'd be way better, right? 
Or, like, same thing with, like, the, the Tech Kaioken Goku and the physical uh, Gallic Gun Vegeta. Just give them, like, minor support type buffs um, to the all rotation or something like that. Could be really good. Um, okay, so here we have a solo Goasu card. Certainly would make a lot of sense, right? Goasu does have a pretty significant role in that arc. Um, we also could potentially get a Goasu from the Turn of Power as well, although Goasu doesn't really do too much besides just sit on the sidelines there. Uh, Legendary Zamasu event, so could go from, okay, Goasu and Zamasu to Zamasu, Goku Black, Goku Black and Zamasu, El, or Rose, Goku Black and Zamasu, and then the two merged Zamasus, hmm. Sets your defense to zero. That's interesting. Gives more use to characters with only damage reduction slash dodge. Huh. I wonder, like, you know, we've won, we want, like, more, like, like, legendary Goku event. We want, like, more events similar to that, that type of event, right? And they have done a lot of infinite Dragon Ball history stuff. I wonder if that's just going to be, like, they're not going to give us, like, another legendary Goku event. It's just going to be, or, like, you know, like a Zamasu event, a Vegeta event, or anything like that. They're literally just going to do infinite Dragon Ball history sages all day. Could be it. Um, LR, Father, Son, Gallic Gun, Vegeta, and Trunks. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there is no Vegeta and Trunks card. There's only the exchange Vegeta and Trunks. That would be a really sick card, for sure. A really powerful buff to Vegeta family, which would really need it. You know, obviously, they'd be on Future. They'd be on Joint Forces. Um, that would be super good. I definitely would love to see this card added into the game. Um, okay, so Bulma. Yeah, I, I like the idea of, like, a future Bulma and then, a, like, a normal, like, a, a regular Bulma. Again, regular Bulma only has, what, a rare in the Planet Namek Saga. So, we do need actual Bulma cards. Um, Earthling and Pure slash Hybrid Saiyan support. Oh, that would be interesting. If she buffed Earthling, Pure Saiyans, and Hybrid Saiyans or something like that. I would like that. I would like that a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, Future Bulma could potentially get a card as well. Uh, support unit for Earthlings and Time Travelers. Yeah, stuff like that would be very interesting. Dokkan does sort of need to get a little bit better, I think, about adding some of these sort of, like, really sort of secondary characters as, like, good options here. Um, What is this? A What If Story Event? So you'd see Bardock. We work together to be chilled. Okay. Sure. I mean, something like that is cool. I mean, I guess they did give us the, the Raditz event, which is not really like a, kind of like a what if. Like, they've done little story events like that. So, I feel like that could potentially happen. Um, and then the last thing we have here is, oh, easying these Zamasu. Just give him bigger numbers, potentially debuff enemies. I like it. Um, And make him a support. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Yeah. If we're going to do stuff like this, we're like... You know, there's multiple good versions of the same character. By having them do different things, you're making, like, all these different characters relevant. Like, that's a really good way to build it, for sure. Um, and then just real quick at the end here, looking at some of the stuff we've got from the manga. This graphic's a little tough on the eyes, but it's all good. Uh, okay, so a Dokkan Fest manga Goku Black, right? So, Goku Black in the manga does go Super Saiyan. Just Super Saiyan Goku Black would be really good to add into the game, for sure. Um, so a future my slash trunks exchange unit. Yeah, th this is something not necessarily manga exclusive, but could exist, you know, from the anime and stuff like that as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different things with like Zamasu, right? So like Zamasu sort of like does that thing where he rips his shirt off and then he creates like sort of like the infinite sort of Zamasu clones like that. Goku does the Hakai. Like, these are, like, really interesting characters that definitely could get Dokkan cards. And, like, Hakai Goku is even in Dragon Ball Heroes, right? Um, okay, and then, yeah, I, I really like this, right? So then there's that whole fight Go uh, Vegeta has with Goku Black, where he bounces back and forth between going God and Blue. And I think that could make a very interesting sort of unit where they do something with that, right? Uh, I, I see here he says... God being defensive and blue being offensive could work very well. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like an active skill you could activate every turn and you could literally decide for that turn if you want to go offensive or defensive. Could you imagine how, how interesting that would be? So, like, let's say, like, the God Vegeta has, like, 80% damage reduction and, like, that's just, like, his passive or something like that. 
And then, like, the blue Vegeta would be, like, I don't know, like, 300% attack. And then, you know, supports the whole rotation, you know, two key and 20% attack and defense or something like that. Like, you really could, like, make an interesting unit in that that sort of manner. Um, and then, yeah, there is Trunks that was trained by the Supreme Kai. I think that would work very well. Um, a Trunks trained by the Supreme Kai that could have, like, some sort of healing mechanic and stuff like that. Because that's one of the big things about that Trunks in the manga arc is that he's, you know, able to heal after his training with Kabito and Supreme Kai. So, there definitely is, like, there's just infinite ideas and possibilities right now for Dokkan. Again, it's very easy to say, like, oh, you know, Naruto Blazing died. Dokkan is on its last legs as well. Dokkan is dying. But, like, there is so many things that Dokkan has just never really touched upon, right? Like, you know, we, we looked at all this, but we didn't even talk about, like, Goku Black. Like, you know, we really could get, like, uh, honestly, like, another Goku Black. Like, I know it seems ridiculous, but, like, base form Goku Black right now is pretty weak. Super Saiyan Goku Black is ridiculously powerful, but if they gave us, like, a, a base Goku Black that, like, was a powerful support type unit or something like that to really make that LR Goku Black shine, that would be really good. You know, again, LR Merge Zamasu. There's, like, a lot of different things Dokkan could do um, with the future Trunks arc in general, and we really need to buff uh, extreme class realm of gods as well. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Uh, shout out of course to both, uh, snap snarp and Zeno grandmaster. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.